After more than four decades of holding bragging rights as the world's number two economy, the Japanese government has now admitted that it has slipped behind our rival China in the global GDP rankings. Not only did Japanese growth fail to keep pace with China in the final quarter of 2010, but the nation's economy actually declined at an annualized rate of 1.1%. Overall, the Japanese economy, at $5.47 trillion, is about 7% smaller than China's $5.88 trillion economy, although individual Japanese are still much wealthier on a per capita basis. China's economy growth has really been phenomenal, so it probably can be helped that we have fallen to number three. Even if we feel a little shock about it, for the good of the world, we should work together with our big neighbor country. In 1989, eight of the world's top ten richest companies were Japanese. Today, there is no Japanese company in the top ten. The Toyota Motor Company is Japan's biggest, ranking number 32. More than 20 years of sluggish economic growth, combined with the great strides forward made by its Asian competitors, have caused Japan to lose some of its shine as a technologically ultra-modern nation. Most economists cite enduring problems with domestic consumption. Well, I think the biggest problem right now in Japan is the um, quite weak um, the confidence of consumers, particularly uh, young you know, consumers, 2030s. Their problem is uh, increasing risk of you know, declining income in the future. People who are worried about salary cuts or unemployment tend to save their money rather than spend and stimulate the overall economy. Kazuhiro Haraguchi is the former Minister of Internal Affairs and a key compiler of the Japanese government's new economic growth strategy. For many countries, information and communications technology lies at the basis of their economic growth. With a full broadband service in place across the nation, we can innovate education, innovate agriculture, and innovate transportation systems. No one believes that Japan will ever again recapture the number two position that it held for so long. And most Japanese have become more concerned about simply maintaining their own family's prosperity. Michael Penn, Press TV, Tokyo.